Okay, my friends, sometimes you run into things you just cannot explain. Rodney Warren and I have been doing light experiments for many years now, and um, literally thousands of different pictures, and, and this is one that is kind of hard to understand. Um, I mean, what is that? It almost looks like this guy's spitting something out, and you know, I, I don't know what to say other than just look at it and see what you think. but. Rodney does light experiments, and this is one of the things he picked up. Now, that first picture was stunning, but this is it's just as stunning. This is light accelerating. That's not supposed to happen. It's not allowed. This is what should happen. It should never get any faster than that. But Rod figured out a way to put it through a Venturi. And now he's starting to really come around and put a lot of stuff on uh, on his site. It's called Rod Warren and um, on YouTube. And uh, he doesn't normally say anything or, or much at all. He, he just shows the pictures that he's taken. He's just an experimenter guy. I do the atomic part, but I could never have shown anything without his research here. I mean, and he stuck with me for years, six, seven years now. So this is, uh, and um, we communicated just yesterday, or maybe it was even today, I don't remember now. <laughs> it's just turned into a blur. <laughs> Here it is. Now, I, I spend so much time analyzing these pictures that I, I kind of understand exactly what's going on here. This is light. Light spins in a circle. These light particles are being thrown off of here. This is the back, th these are pulse lasers. That's a, a pulse leaving. This is the back of this pulse. It's pulsed, it's spinning through the venturi, pew, splaying out like that. And you can see, anytime you see a, a brighter area, that means more energy. So it's, com it's coming around and smacking against itself. The venturi is right in this area here. And it's coming through the venturi and just throwing itself out. You see that? That's the that's the camera he uses, the Samsung um, Galaxy 3s, I think, is something like that. I have the same one here somewhere around here. But he's getting and he's still using it today, as 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 I just said. I talked to him. I think it was today, and. Um, He's, he's, he made the mention, he said, this Galaxy phone is just unbelievable how incredible the pictures are, the clarity of them. And what he's picking up on is the brilliance of the interaction of the particles. You won't see any of this stuff. You wouldn't see anything. Like, you just see this right here. This is because of the concussion. And that's, they use the same phones to take pictures of cosmic radiation. So you can see these high energy particles, no problem whatsoever. And it appears that it was better then than it is even now. That's according to Rod. Now he's the one doing experiments and he's in love with this phone, I can tell you that. And I am too. Okay, I don't know if I showed you this not yet or not, but these are the muon neutrinos, the electron neutrinos, and that's the black and white balls. When they separate, they create the muons, just this stays the black ball, and this turns into electron showers. And I think I showed you this, or I'm just going to show it one more time, and then wrap it up. Alright, this is what it is. That's the light, and it's concussing all the other particles that are in the gases, because everything has electrons, electron to electron, push to shove. This is acceleration to the venturi. The particle itself that creates a wave, because it has a big magnetic field around it, is being pulled out of the wave due to a venturi. That's an acceleration device. That's the particle. It begins to display itself just prior, right here, just before it concusses. It, show, it glows this particle here, and then when it concusses, it splits in two and you get what I just showed you a second ago, I believe, which is what CERN wants to see is the muon and the electron shower. Before they were attached together as a muon, a white ball, um, a black ball, and the electron neutrino, which is the white ball. When they concussed here, they separated into the electron shower, and the black ball just rolled around the outside and reattaches down here. 
So we and this is fission, fusion, free energy. We need to look at this pretty quick. All right, this is Rod Warren's channel. You should come up and subscribe to it. He 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 puts things up here that people just don't understand. But watch the flow of this. This is called light flowing. And again, he's not a word a guy with a lot of words, but he does what he has to do on the screen. Watch this. This is blow you away. Keep an eye on. He's going to make little tiny hits, and I, I think he must be taking a, a bazillion pictures or something. And he's using this Galaxy phone. I'm almost sure he's still using it on this. Just look at this. This is this is it freaks me out every time he sends me something. Look at this. Now watch what happens up in this area here. See it? It changes, and then it'll it'll glob out. What's that? This is interaction of the light particles in fectoseconds or something. I mean, like this. Look at this. And you see a blob. So look, see that? And you see this thing brighten up and that blob sticking out. See now? You got a, a ridge showing up here. Look at this. It's just amazing. Absolutely incredible. And so anyway, you should pop up here, Rod Warren. He's the guy that did all the experiments. Now, I did uh, some of them too, but uh, you know, how am I going to beat something like this? And you, the time he put into it, I can't even imagine. And you know something, look at that. You see these kind of crazy looking things, you know, I know they call it paradiolia or whatever you call it, where you see things and you don't believe you're seeing them, but or you believe you believe you're seeing them but you're not really seeing them that could very well be but there's a lot of stuff here that is seen that has never been seen before and therefore it deserves to be seen because you know let there be light and when light comes life comes right with it it's the only thing that makes life is light